Okay, so I want to set up orientation planes and uh, have it be associated with our movers. And uh, so basically, um, instead of trying to explain what it is, I'm just going to make it and so you'll see what it is. It's kind of in the same vein as the uh, orientation plane that we made for the pendulum example, but it's going to be slightly different. Okay, so we want to put it inside of class mover, and uh, so just add it in, def, I'm going to say just op, and uh, it's important to notice that I'm doing this just as a function. It's not a variable, it's a function. So in up here we have our variables, our position, velocity, acceleration, mass, and uh, the rest, but this is not a variable, it's a function. And so... Uh, we want a plane, and I want to make the plane as uh, RS plane from normal. And uh, if you look down here at the documentation for the origin, I want the position, self dot position. And for the axis, or for the normal, I want self dot velocity. and we're going to return plane. Okay, so that's uh, inside of our mover class. Inside of our particle system, uh, we also want a function that gets uh, orientation planes. So I'm just going to copy this because it's pretty much the same thing. And uh, so I'm going to say get orientation planes and so instead of a position list, I'm going to say op list, and we're going to add op list, and we're going to we want a plane, and we need to do mover dot op, and then we need the parens because it's not a variable, it's a function. So this calls the function that returns the plane, and uh, we have the plane, and we're going to pass it into here and return op list. Okay, so that takes care of uh, the particle system function that we want. And now let's go ahead, I'm gonna delete this really quick. Okay, we have this that makes our particle system list. Uh, we have our time thing set up here. And so instead of position list, I want to get an op list and op list and instead of get positions I want get orientation planes and uh, so I want to pass out op list instead of position list let's test this and see if I wrote any bugs in Okay, uh, I'm going to bump this down to one really quick. Okay, you can see that all of the planes are showing up here. Uh, so we need to hide or not preview uh, this right here. And then this one also we need to not preview. Okay, so our sphere is still working because if we pass in a plane uh, to a sphere, it will go off the orient or the origin point of that plane. And so you can see up here that we have a plane coming out of here. So if we plug in a plane right there, uh, I'm going to unhook this the sphere right here. Okay, so now instead of our spheres, we have uh, these orientate these orientation planes representing our movers. Okay, so uh, what I want to do next is I want to uh, use orient 
uh, let me see where it is, inside the transform and uh, Euclidean, it's the orient, and what it does is it remaps uh, geometry from one plane to another, and so the plane that we want it to map to is B, and then A will be the world axis, uh, the XY plane. And so now we need to make a mesh. I just want to make a simple mesh. So mesh creation. Uh, go over here to mesh cone, and I have uh, vertical faces one and around faces two. And uh, I'm going to move it down a little bit. So with that selected, I'm going to make a mesh and set one mesh and plug it in to the orient. Okay, so that uh, that's kind of where I wanted to do uh, get to with this video, so the video didn't get too long. I'm just going to hide this. I have it selected, and I'm going to hide it. Oops.